Well, new this morning, a report just released on climate change. This came out about 10 minutes ago at 6 o'clock, and as Chief Meteorologist and Climate Specialist Jeff Faradelli explains, Florida's ecosystem is in jeopardy if action is not taken. But if the world was too hot and all the apartments were gone, nobody would have a place to live. Meet Olivia Stone, a fifth grader at the Learning Gate Community School in Lutz. Her mom, Debbie, is in charge of educating our youth on the importance of nature at the Florida Aquarium. So when I had Olivia, it became even more important to me because there she was right in front of me, literally the next generation sitting next to me. When Olivia reaches her mom's age as the melting of glaciers accelerate, the Tampa Bay area may face as much as two more more feet of sea level rise, flooding many of our coastal ecosystems. The report concludes sea level rise will lead to increased flooding, loss of coastal habitat, and what they call ecosystem services. Ecosystem services is such a technical term, but what it basically means is that we as a human race depend upon right. this for our survival. That's right, and I'm so glad you put it that way. Nature's not just something pretty to look at. Dr. Ellen Prager is a marine scientist and author right here in the Bay Area. We really depend as a society and as humans on all the things that nature brings to us. For instance, here in Florida, recreational industries and tourism is a huge part of the economy. According to NOAA, Florida's coral reefs have an economic value of $8.5 billion. But this new report emphasizes coral reefs are the most vulnerable ecosystem to warming waters. The Earth has already warmed 2 degrees Fahrenheit, putting coral into the very high-risk zone. Another degree, and it's game over for coral. They have a certain temperature range that they can live in. And if the water gets too warm for an extended period of time, they will bleach, come under stress sometimes, and oftentimes die. And in Florida and across the Caribbean, we're seeing disease wipe out corals. Coral supports 25% of the world's marine life. And in the Florida Keys, only 2% of coral cover is left, decimated by both warming waters and nutrient pollution. I feel like it's so kind of like sad and like, reckless that humans are destroying them when so many creatures live off of them. Her mom says Olivia is like many of her peers, knowing they will inherit this burden. They really have an affinity for nature. They genuinely care. So fostering that, I think, is part of the solution because I think people need to be connected to nature and understand why it's important to want to protect it. So it gives me hope. But the report stresses it will take more than hope. It's an urgent message that we can say we're going to mitigate, we're going to adapt. But the truth is we have to also focus on reducing emissions to save coral reefs and to save all these other critical habitats. I feel like people need to care about that more and not be like, oh, other people will do it because they need to help too. Jeff Berardelli, 8 on your side.